Welcome to Discover Talent friends, I am your host Vinod. In this series, we are going to cover how to create a resume for the data analyst, right? Now, this series is entirely for the experience holder and the freshers who are looking out for a crew in data analyst field, right? So, we are going to showcase you how we can develop a resume with the help of MS Word. So, if in case you are not aware how to open MS Word, let me show you how click on start button and then just press the word button it's maybe already pre-installed in your system okay you just need to check that and then click on new as soon as you click on the new you will get the ample amount of template okay uh, you can use those template as well however uh, I would recommend just don't go with the template just customize those basis your experience your requirement and uh, if in case you are a fresher just add and delete that's it yeah so these are the new sort of resumes so let me just search filter it out typing resume and then I will get the online templates available by Microsoft we are a premium we are using a premium version for Microsoft so this is the suit and this is the office 365 basically the navigation and screening may be different for you but uh, this is the theme altogether yeah so we'll pick anyone on uh, resume I'll select this and uh, I'll click on create it will take some time and then it will load on your system okay now you can see when you scroll it down majority of the details is added over here okay if in case you are a fresher then this particular segment is not really helpful for you but uh, you can use this adding a new header you can add a different tab altogether like your interest and hobbies soon in the upcoming series for now as a practice per se we are just using this photograph and then education will add as a dummy data set if in case you have any real data or genuine data you can add your own or maybe parallel you can work it out okay so this particular entire thingy is created on a tables okay so when I select this entire thing right you can see the table design is activated just want to give you the heads up on that then layout you can see the layout so basically when you create a table automatically these two options will on correct now jump on the topic uh, this is the CV which we have handy and I pick this design randomly you can pick your own it's completely fine ultimate goal is that we need to deliver it to value right let me open the my word file where I have maintained the details and those details as a data analyst you should include in your CV first and foremost is header which is your full name okay you can add your uh, middle name as well or otherwise I would recommend you can just use first and last name that's completely fine and uh, or maybe you can just add first and middle name initials just short and last name that's completely fine it's complete your call how you want to keep it so I'll keep it uh, name like Rajiv I'll, what we do we just and then chief press enter okay so I've just added this details again this is just a dummy data sets folks okay you can add your own then contact information phone number and professional email address professional email address meaning uh, email address shouldn't be like uh, creative kids at the red gmail.com right it's just on a generic right just ensure that your email ID should be a generic okay your first name and last name or maybe your first name like V and then last name is Valvante right likewise here R Mehta at red gmail.com or R Mehta so and so dot com that's completely fine but ensure that you're not using any other email ID this is what the meaning of the professional email ID and the phone number I'm operating from India hence I'm using a plus nine one initial code for phone number right so 
will go here down and will add this number so for now I'm just keeping this as is okay as I don't want to make any changes if in case as a demo per se I will show you will just add a number and then as it is 10 digits so we'll ensure that we'll keep the five digit five digit gap website will delete this part and will use something else over here okay so I'll show you how and what we are going to showcase so this is what professional email address and the professional email address would be someone a direct example no so we'll do Rajiv dot m at the rate outlook dot com so this is the professional ID for one of my dummy agent so far we have covered these two pointers now let's scroll it down LinkedIn profile or portfolio link so meaning this is again an optional you can remove this but uh, if in case you have this uh, LinkedIn ID right and majority of the chunk right we use daily I would say my weekly or monthly uh, I would say LinkedIn so that's what LinkedIn ID I'll just add and then RM whatever your ID is you can just copy that and just paste it over here okay scroll it down now the summary objective now we are creating this CV is entirely for the data analyst people who have this skill set of Excel Office 365 uh, maybe Power BI if in case they have it right Power BI Tableau and SPSS and statistical tools if in case any right these are the summary objective for uh, the specific area of people which is we are covering right now brief statement and summarizing your experience uh, skills career goals as data analyst tailored this specific job applying for so this is what we have covered right now and the summary objective will be added over here so what I will do I'll just go into the Google section okay uh, I'll type resume cover resume data analyst career objective I'll just type on the Google okay so I'll get the overall resumes like this okay seeking an opportunity to utilize my expertise in data analysis and statistical modeling business decision to secure a position data analyst where I am I can use my I'll just copy this with reference to so and so and then I just paste it over here right so I just now paste it over here this is the explanation which I have given right will add that uh, information later on if in case you have many more uh, insightful decision you want to add you can just go there and just copy and paste it ensure that whenever you are pasting uh, data shouldn't be like this you need to click on this and then press text only you can see the change okay control Z now uh, if in case you are this is for experience holder folks right if in case you already holding a, any kind of a job position you can just add a senior data analyst so somewhere if in case you are already working right and you are applying for the any other company that time you can just add it and then name education will go there as well okay here we have added the summary objective now professional experience list your relevant work experience reverse chronological order starting with the most recent meaning so the current company wherever you are working with so you need to ensure that you are adding this company name job title from and just say result and then describe the this thing for the freshers you can just remove this entire part add as a fresher okay and uh, we can just copy and paste this entire thing like this 
I just add a borders over here okay so I can check so where it is going exactly and then table design I'm just adjusting this particular uh, table top okay as per our requirement contact information contact here, here fresher and then this is the education we'll just add the education as well first we'll cover this part work experience so work experience is fresher if I add a fresher this is the entire so what you can do so basically when we so you can either create a split this particular rows okay you can add the interest over here right hand side or directly you can just add a interest bottom of the pressure thing here okay so interest could be you like exploring new things okay you like uh, reading bi or maybe blockchain related thingy correct so those kind of things you can add it over here right hand side and then now will add include the company no name again the same we have already discussed skills highlight your technical skills including programming language python r sql data visualization tools tableau power bi statistical software excel spss and any other software tools if in case any right so here we have this uh, segment and uh, this is interrelated to the your existing excel okay so for this what you need to do you need to remove okay entirely and uh, open a excel let me show you how so this you wanna be a delete this then excel just open this excel power bi tableau uh, tableau i'll just uh, uh, recorrect the spelling don't worry excel automation and then analytics so whatever skill set you have uh, data insights okay so I'll just now change the spelling W insights now you need to divide this into the hundred percentage so how we can do that so suppose I have 10 distributed equally to entire six tables right ensure that you are adding a hundred divided by six okay so which is your 16.66 ensure that you are giving a appropriate uh, calculation suppose you have a good skills in Excel and you are not aware right now okay you don't have a visualization what you need to do the first select this entire thingy control T this is what we are doing in the Excel for now skills percentage okay go in insert recommended chart click on this particular table and now if in case you are not aware just ensure that so 60 uh, we need to ensure that we have to have a complete a overall hundred so this will cover the overall hundred percentage so I'll keep this as a 40 then I'll keep this a 20 uh, basis on your skill right you are the good person and you are the best person for judging you yourself okay ensure that you are doing that and then this is 105 let's do it like 35 okay so this is overall my data what I will do I'll just change this skills for self so as soon as it's done I'll just add
add this as a remove this grid lines I just change this entirely copy copy this come in the word document and then just paste it over here okay ensure that you are changing the size yeah so we are good for now so we are just adjusting this space for now okay so case uh, you have the list of experience work experience then it automatically skills will get uh, you know down section yeah this is the skills and then uh, as soon as you complete the skills education you need to list a education basis the highest degree first so and so forth okay institution name and the relevant certification if in case you did so ensure that you know if in case you have uh, additional certificates you are adding that as well in somewhere this is the education okay and this was uh, pretty much uh, well known so as soon as you add this uh, entire thing right your PhD your your master in right so whatever degree you have did so just add it date to and uh, overall score what you did what you achieved those particular thing you will add and then just add a one liner over here okay uh, additional certification okay make it bold and increase the size this is your requirement okay if in case you have the lots of data ensure that you are removing this and keeping here only education and certifications okay certifications and uh, for title if you want to match it just keep the font bit lower so this is how you will add education and certifications in one table okay and uh, this will help you to sustain your formatting in a neat form and this will help you to create a amazing CV for your work profile so let's move ahead projects okay projects is the crucial part and uh, this is not just a applicable for experience holder it's equally applicable for the freshers as well okay for freshers they need to ensure that if in case they did a BCA right uh, or maybe an MCOM segment right they did any kind of a project uh, in their college level ensuring that they are doing a you are they are adding a those particular projects in somewhere or maybe they are doing any kind of a training somewhere or maybe as an intern they are working with the respective companies they are adding those value just wanted to add one liner note okay we are also offer a opportunity for interns in discover talent if in case you are uh, interested to be an intern as a fresher okay you can just send us an email we will review your details we will go through with your details and we will send you the appointment data which is your requirement okay. and uh, yes we want you to be get hired and you we want you to be get you no know, job for sure uh, we are also offering the free certification on discover talent if in case you are interested for learning a more about uh, free certification courses and uh, more about MS Excel Office 365 feel free to drop in comment in below section this video will upload on meta and different different sources just ensure that comment will only consider on YouTube okay so hence request you to please redirect yourself to the YouTube and comment whatever query you have will definitely help you out to resolve those let's moving ahead uh, achievements so folks uh, if in case you have received any kind of an awards achievement recognition okay and uh, you got any certification interim right so you can just add those somewhere adding a new table how to do that so let me show you it's a simple task like this okay 
I'll just select this table design split table split table this entire level split uh, I will just click over here layout split cell rows I want rows and two column so what I will do I'll just add a recognition like this just drag it down a little bit and basis my requirement I'll just add the recognition as soon as I complete my entire thingy this uh, entire thingy for achievements I'll move ahead for the next which is language and interest language and interest uh, will ensure that will cover this in the left hand section because this is my personal related thingy or if in case you don't have a space in the right hand side you can add that achievements on the left hand side as well that's completely fine this is your resume ensure that you are keeping this resume visually appealing just a uh, last request ensure that your resume should be crisp okay not overloaded with the languages not overloaded with the uh, incorrect spelling mistake and uh, it resume should speak about you okay because when we apply for the job position recruiter haven't seen you right they judge you based on your CV so ensure that you are creating your CV appropriate if in case you want me to review feel free to drop and comment in uh, YouTube I'll help you out free of course that's completely fine let's move ahead and uh, I think yeah this is the top eight tips uh, which we are recommending but last want to give you the uh, tip I would say bonus tip for uh, entire youtubers or maybe who are just following this video right if in case any issues uh, related to the you know uh, doing a alignment you are not able to move this table like you know sometimes it happens right uh, suppose I am showcasing you right now the example suppose like this okay sometimes this space is like this your photograph comes down and automatically white space arises on the top so don't worry okay uh, don't stuck wherever you need a help feel free to give us an a ping we are there to help you out but just give you the random bonus tip ensure that you are removing this white space first and try to resolve your own try to resolve like this okay when we click this you can move this you can able to move this image okay if not let's try this still not working let's try this start exploring your own okay this is how you will learn otherwise you will uh, stay behind and then if in case it's not moving it's locked then what you can do just click here move this table on the top arrange this as per your, the design and uh, as soon as you complete the details uh, as per your requirement we are good okay now let's move to the design section the 10th tip I would say top 10 I would say 10th tip just go into the uh, theme section um, click on the blue whatever design you want this is how you can change your entire resume design very efficiently cool I like this design I'll just select this and then if I want a purple color I'll keep this as a color and uh, yeah this is how I have developed my own CV for data analyst position just wanted to give you the overall glance so hence I have just used this entire thing and uh, if, if you want more a design segment in the resume you can do that as well that's completely fine see this is the font basically it's getting changed automatically right so you can just check it out okay title right so yeah this is how 
top 10 tips uh, for freshers, experience holders and uh, new YouTubers who are watching our. So this is how you can create a CV with top 10 tips uh, folks. Okay, so I would request you. So please subscribe my channel, support me uh, in creating a more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.